Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is a zoo I haven't been in in a very long time. Uh, we are back in Wildlife Trek, the franchise build that I've been working on here in Planet Zoo. Uh, yeah, I just decided to revisit this, um, take a peek. Uh, I think the reason that I stopped working on this initially was because my computer was starting to cry for mercy. And I mean, y yeah. It, it it's definitely runs better now that I've built the new system and upgraded it and got the 30 series card in here. It, it's still a little rough. Uh, running about 30, 30, between 30 and 35 frames per second, which actually is not too, too terrible given the way it used to run, which is like at 15. And this is with it unpaused with... Oh gosh, 3,900 guests in the zoo. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to... Where is that setting? I'm going to see if I can do this without completely tanking. What am I looking for here? Without totally tanking my economy is if I can just turn down the number of guests. Uh, we're going to limit to 2,500 and kick a few people out of here and see if I can get a little bit better frames going on here. But I decided to come on and back into here and check this out. Um, I, I forgot how much detail I'd put into here. This is really, really interesting build. Um, really fun. I, You know, we have a fully functioning barn. The animals, they come in and they use it. We have a fully functioning uh, giraffe house. All the animals seem to love it. We've got everything. We've got ostriches in here. <laughs> oh, we've got baby zebra. We've got our Tommies. Uh, yeah, these are Tommies, right? Not Springbok. Yeah, these are Thompson's gazelles. Okay. Yeah, we've got all these guys in here, and, and they're all using it. Um, yeah. So I want to get in here now that I can with the computer not wanting to die every time I load into here and actually finish this up and well at the very least continue working on it um yeah I, I for, oh I completely forgot about this build with the rope course and everything that's actually functional look at that they can actually use this and they can actually use their shelters yeah this was super super fun and um yeah I think it's time to get back into franchise here and mess around with some stuff that just the gondola i i don't know that i've got one in i've got it going in northern light zoo i just ugh, those transport rides are such a pain okay what kind of alerts do i have stressed why why are we stressed you guys usually don't get stressed and you shouldn't be getting You guys shouldn't be getting stressed. Your flamingos, crowds are far enough away. You guys are not the problem, children of the zoo. Why are you stressed? Go, go in your house, then. Okay, you have places to go. There we go. If you're stressed, go inside. A uh, place too far away from the habitat. Why? What? What is the problem here? Seriously? That's too far from the habitat. Okay, I'm just ignoring that one. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Artvark build here. So we have their functional indoor burrow, their outdoor area here. That's right, I don't think they can actually use these tunnels. But... This worked out quite well, so we need to get in here and finish this up a little bit. I need to add in, just need to finish up the uh, this Life in the Plains section, add in the bison, add in the pronghorn for our little prairie section that'll be probably somewhere over here, and then start to move on into uh, something else. I think I wanted to head into the desert. We've got to get the rhinos in here, because when I started this, we didn't have southern white rhinos, and we do now. This is... oh, wild dogs. Oh, I need to finish... okay, we're about to inbreed. Let's, uh... no. 
No. Just, just so much no right there. We need to get in here and finish up these wild dogs. Low welfare, why? Space, uh-oh. What, what is going on here? Uh, also, why are you... Oh, I bet you're stuck. Let's put it over there. I bet it's stuck on the path. Because the rest of these guys... Yeah, the rest of them are fine. Okay, so he was just... He must have fallen off the ropes or something. <laughs> Got stuck on the path. Hmm, so money is going down. Since I've started limiting the guest numbers, I wonder... Wow. I wonder if I can just increase this a little bit and see if, uh... And apparently it doesn't matter if child and adult, and adult are the same or not, so we'll just raise that and see if people start complaining. But I wanted to get in here and finish up our African wild dogs really quick here. I think I just need to put the roof on this cabin and then detail up their habitat a little bit. And then they will be done. And we can move on to something else. And I think what I want to get started on next... I want to finish up this plane section, but then I really want to get in... Uh, no, no inbreeding peafowl. No inbreeding peafowl. In fact, I'm taking you out of here. And I'm stuffing you into this one. You can be our stand-in chickens in the llama habitat over there. Wow, there's a holy crap. <laughs> there's way too many people in here. Um so yeah, there's there's definitely too many. Thirty-seven Okay. Um Where where you have to deal with the peafowl. Let's see. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's go into our animals menu here. Filter this down by peafowl. And let's see. So I want to get rid of a lot of these. Like most of you, I think. Okay, let's do that. And let's get rid of as many of those as possible. Okay. Alright, that should have reduced our numbers a little bit. How many do we, we still have 29 in here? So we're gonna get as many out of here as we can. We still have too many, don't we? Actually, we're better. Nope, we're, we're better. Alright, so we're down to 19. Good lord, this is a lot of peafowl, still. Alright, but that is much more reasonable. So now they're not just completely a disease. And let me guess... Oh wow, it's it's actually not a peafowl that's sick this time. Okay, so we're gonna send you to quarantine. Get you out of here. And 
seems to have let us raise the price. I'm going to raise it again. I'm going to put it up to 70 and see if people will pay that. 71. I don't know any zoo anywhere that charges $71. Oh, no, no, no inbreeding peafowl. Okay, that was the right one. Yes, okay. All right. Hopefully they are sorted out, maybe now. Oh, we lost a llama. Okay, let's get the vet to get that out of here. Maybe. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and actually work on finishing up the wild dogs really quick here. Let's see. Just want to put the little roof on this part. Ah, oh, that looks cute. And if I take that into there, that'll look even better. Let's see. It does not like this area very well. My computer doesn't. Running at like 30 frames per second, even with it on pause. Not too, too bad, though. Let's get our fake rocks in here. this out a little bit. I, th I know I was looking at a real world example when I started this originally, but I don't actually recall what that is. Hmm. Get a few more in there. Water looks a little bit low here. I wonder if I can bring that up. Actually, that works. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have it be kind of like a little river there. Then let's get this planted up. I want to go with Africa, grassland. Oh, that's interesting. The new Aleppo pines work for this habit, this biome. Hmm. That is cool. Let's put one of those in. Would probably be an artificial tree in a real zoo. And we are playing in franchise. We want to. Okay. Maybe not. We're not going to put one of those in because. Yeah, we don't have much in the way of uh, plant coverage for these guys. I wonder, you know, if I get rid of the elephant grass, because that counts for a lot of coverage. I'll get rid of that. I don't like that. But if I get rid of that, now I have more options here. And we have our Drin grass. This, I've heard, doesn't actually affect plant coverage. 
That is definitely the case. It does not affect plant coverage. Yay! I like this. So I'm just using random rotation. And I'm just going to place this Durin grass pretty much everywhere. <laughs> the more plants I place, the worse my computer runs. Oh, I love it. Okay, there we go. Spiked up to 37 frames per second from 30. So when I'm zoomed in nice and close, it does a little bit better. Alright, then I'm going to use my Hawthorn that I like as a stand-in grass just to have a little bit of a different texture in here something a little bit more scrubby like can't go all out on that because we're going to run into our plant coverage since we can't do a whole lot more on the interior it's now time to work on the exterior in here so i'm going to go with the terrain paint we're going to make this sandy. I'm going to tie it into the hyenas over here. And we can go a long way to making a habitat look a lot less barren by planting around the exterior. Um, let's get in some African daisies. There's some nice little flower beds. I like African daisies. They grow really well around here where I live. They bloom over the winter, which is nice. Get a little color in the garden. And otherwise, kind of a colorless time of year. So let's just get a ton of these in here. To that, let's get some of the King Protea in. Just kind of placing it randomly. Letting it overhang the path just a little bit. Get some more trees in here, make this kind of little African woodland. Let's tie in the habitat with a little bit of terrain paint in here. So since we've painted the exterior kind of sandy, let's get some of that in here for these guys. Again, because it is uh, it is franchise, I do want to pay attention to the terrain requirements for the animals. I'm 
Okay. We don't have quite enough short grass. There we go. And this is just barely big enough for them, so I have to be, watch that as they breed and make sure that we move out any maturing youngsters pretty quick. So it works pretty well. Good viewing. I don't know if I want to cover these little viewing areas or not. I think I want to just get these planted up in here. We'll get our drin grass. Probably one of the best plant pieces Frontier has added to this game. Use it for absolutely everything, and it doesn't count, which I, I really think this is a bug, but it, it, it's a bug that ought to be a feature. It doesn't count against or toward an animal's plant requirement. So you can use this even though it's tagged for Africa and grassland. You can use this in any animal habitat anywhere because it doesn't count. So let's just kind of keep that on the down low and not report that as a bug. Because I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's right now works out great. All right, I want to get some fencing in here. Now let's go with this one. Oh, I didn't realize this was flexicolor. Cool. So we're just going to get our fence in here. Unpause it and see how it runs. Eh, I'm probably going to need to build in pause. Drop down to like 15 there. Amazing how intensive this game can be on your on your system, especially when you're in franchise with all the guests in. Still losing money too. So limiting guests may not be a viable option. I just wanted to try it and see what would happen. Let's see, let's get this little fence in here. That looks nice. I do like the double fencing, it makes it a little bit more realistic. I don't know if you'd have this low of a barrier here though between the guests and the dogs, just because guests are stupid and wild dogs are kind of dangerous. I want to say that it was Pittsburgh Zoo, but I might be incorrect on that, or Philadelphia or something. I think it started with a P. Um, parent was with their child on in one of those overlook viewing decks, looking into the African wild dog and set the kid on the railing. Kid fell in because parents set the kid on the railing, which you're not supposed to do. Don't set your kid on the railing. Uh, yeah, kid got killed by the, uh, by the dogs. This was a few years back. It was not a 
It was a pretty terrible thing that happened, but it was complete irresponsibility. Yeah, so don't set your kid on the railing <laughs> when you're at the zoo. <laughs> Otherwise, they end up being dog food. And we'll get this little fence in here. Looks pretty nice. I like that. A little more contained. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I might call the dogs pretty done here then. I want to unpause this and see how the economy is running. So I've got to find a place in here for the meerkats or maybe we'll put the meerkats in the desert section which could be fun yeah we are losing quite a bit hmm and that is just trending downward that's not good let's see if we can up the uh Up the entrance. Okay, our vet still has not come and picked up the llama. Alright, what else did I want to do in here? Let's see, so I do want to get... Oh, peafowl. Wonderful. Um, just go away. Just out. And we're fighting. Um, yeah, out. There we go. Hopefully no more fighting. That will never put Peafell at the start of a zoo ever again after dealing with those guys. Oh, uh, warthogs. Warthogs are about to inbreed. No, that's not going to happen. All right. So I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Uh, yeah, nice to be back in Wildlife Track. Uh, definitely want to continue this. I, I like the concept that I had originally. And I think with the addition of the uh, the newer animals, the North African and the uh, Europe DLCs, that I can actually fill this out the way I wanted to now. So, uh, yeah, awesome. So thank you guys so much for joining me here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave it a like, comment down below, let me know what you think, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.